Hey guys, welcome back once again to Parasite Eve 2. When we last left off, we got... This key with the, the letters G and R engraved into it. What do we... What do we know about... That... Has G and R in it? Let's see. Let's go ahead and move that onto my... GNR. Where have we heard that before? Think back. Think back to the buildings in Dryfield. Oh, that's just mean. That made me go all the way around. That was just mean of you, game. And of course, right here, we're going to obviously get jumped on by some scorpions, but the best thing to do is just run past them and shoot them through. Okay, so it was a little close, but my reasoning, my methods are sound. Even if my execution lacks something. Nothing new. Uh, poison is really not really that, that bad in this game. So, you know, I usually just let it run its course. have enough BP. Let's see. That is a question. I should. Yeah, I, I should have enough BP for the gun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because I got one, two rooms there. That, that, that. Yeah, I should have plenty of BP. This is the first time I've ever bought the armor first. And these are probably my most hated enemies in the entire game. These freaking mutant hummingbirds. They creep me out, dude. Come on, shoot it. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. Those might be the brain sucker sucklers. I, I don't know what the enemies are called in this game. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't find out. Because that... I don't think there's anything else in here except... Oh, yeah, that's right. The magnet. I forgot about that. And yes, it is a Coca-Cola magnet. This is really the first game I have any memories of that had, like, lots of product placement. Even if it was just... You know, the product placement for the Coca-Cola... Okay, yeah. Uh, normally these guys are not as hard. If you have, uh, if you have the rifle, you'll pretty much shoot them out of the air with one hit, and they're not hard at all. Oh god damn it! If you, there we go. Got that taken care of. There we go. That's out of the way. map of Dryfield and the surrounding areas. So now we have a map of Dryfield. You can see there's lots of areas we haven't been to yet. So let's investigate this place a little bit. Stacked kegs. And this is one of the cooler references in the game. It's an Iron Hander pinball machine. And if you come in later, you can actually use the uh, uh, jukebox there as kind of a uh, as kind of a uh, music test. You know, you can you can play some tunes while you're in here. And we get our first can of Coke. Okay. No, the Coke is. The soda, or I think it's called, yeah, cola, is mainly an MP recovery, but it does give you some HP. They're pretty good to have uh, on hand later on when 
uh, the enemies start to give you less and less MP. I like to save my MP re restoratives for a little later. Let's go out here. And when we get out here, we will fight more of these guys. Take that. As you can see, they do take... Uh, why is he not taking... Yeah. This is one of the only places in the game I can think of where you take... There's multiple groups of enemies. You fight one of the ch you fight that chaser, and then another group of enemy uh, another group of enemies spawns. And I really f running out of ammo is really bothersome in the middle of shooting something. Luckily, these scorpions seem to like lose interest. Ah, uh, see? I ran into that puddle. And it poisoned me, too. I didn't know they poisoned. That's the first time one of them's ever poisoned me. See how handy the GPS is? It lets you see stuff that you can't see because of the, you know, the angles. Okay, then. Second, let's go second floor. Uh, okay then. Go up there. If I remember correctly, there is some scorpions up here, actually. So shoot the scorpions. A 20 bullet clip is not really good for a three round burst. Oh, god damn it, I did it again. Oh well, not that big a deal. The poison really doesn't do a lot of damage in this game, as you can see. Yeah, the auto target is slightly troublesome when you're trying to run in a straight line because when you stop moving, the game points you towards whatever you're targeting. So, like, I'll be trying to run slightly to the left if I stop a moment to readjust myself or something like that to not run into something. It will change my course and face me towards the enemy. That can make... That can make... You know, doing some deft maneuvers and stuff a little harder than it needs to be. Um, but overall, this game has pretty tight controls. Uh, you know, for a tank game. For a tank Resident Evil style game. Stay down. Yeah. I knew that guy was there. I I'm gonna get hit. Ah! <clears throat> that was smooth, and I did it on purpose. Whoop! That I did do on purpose, 100% assuredly. Okay then. then I've only got one area now that's got battles in it. While we're over here, let's drop some of these status restoratives off in the back of the trunk. Uh, I don't need the cola in my trunk. Let's put all this junk in my trunk. Aya's got junk in her trunk. Yes. Uh, okay, yes. Oh, before I forget, let's see if there's anything I want to purchase. Let's see. I want... I want... Ooh. 
want that. I don't have enough to strengthen it. Damn it. I would have strengthened that too. I need 3,000 to strengthen that. And I need 1,250 to strengthen that. Okay. Necrosis is pretty good, like I said. And I just realized I may have screwed up by buying that body armor. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the body armor, and it's not necessarily... Yeah, I do like the fact that uh, you don't just save. It's They have something plot pertinent to say after every major event in the game. You call them and they're, you know, they respond to the situation. They don't just, you know. I might have to hold off on the... No, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. That's that's later. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's much later. I should have plenty of BP to do that. And in case you're confused about what I'm rambling about, I'll point it out when I get to the next BP store. Do I have it? wrong button? Yes, yes, I do. Cool. And I can use my pistol a little bit more to help conserve the ammo for the rifle, but I have enough to buy the rifle now. And I should have enough to buy some ammo for it. The ammo for the rifle is pretty reasonably priced. It's not that much more expensive than the Parabellum rounds when they charge for the Parabellum rounds. Although you should never buy the Parabellum rounds because there are infinite boxes everywhere. Okay. Hmm, I smell a trap. And indeed, it is a trap. But, right here, you should... Yeah. Yep. Okay, then. Let's call Mr. Douglas. Who is it? He has a peg leg, apparently. Yeah, if you try to go around the other way, the way we came in the first time, uh, back where that well was, it's locked now, so you can't actually get through there. So this is a key. There's a key hanging in the recess, but you can't reach it. <coughs> what you're supposed to do to pull it up is use the magnet. And you have to move very slowly when you do this. Otherwise you lose a hold of the magnet. <sighs> I always find this very frustrating. See, I should have been able to get that. And that is me going very slow. Let's see. I may have to do this off screen. It takes too many more tries. <sighs> the guy that designed this puzzle is... There we go. See, I don't know why I didn't get it... So you may recognize this is the door that wouldn't open earlier. Uh, come in here, we have to fight more of the demon humming birds. Screw those guys. Just shoot them until they're on the ground, and then if there's none near you... The main thing is you want to get them out of the air where they don't dive bomb you. There we go. A beat up old pickup truck. Well, we're going to the junkyard now. Yes, 
So you don't need it right now. Things that you don't need, it won't let you pick up, which is slightly irritating. Is lots of times in games like this, you could save time. But no, it won't let you save time in this game. Well, anyway, uh, next time on Parasite Eve 2, we're going to go talk to Mr. Douglas and his trailer coach. So we'll see you then. Bye.